Classic, the Fly Fish Fanatic, and welcome to my tying bench. Today I'll be tying a, uh, a, a dragon pattern. Um, it's a booby, it's going to be a floating pattern. Um, excuse the noise if it clunks here, I'm just moving my mic. Um, it is actually, uh, uh, Deb Pascal came out with this pattern a few weeks ago. Uh, she's done really well with it up in the, in the Caribou and around Kamloops in BC. Um, and I'm just going to change it up a little bit and I'm going to make it a floating dragon. So I'm going to add booby eyes to it. Um, it's a little bit different than hers, but very, very similar. So without further ado, I will get over to the... So in the uh, vise right now, we have a Hens BL724 in a size 10. Um, uh, for the body, I'll be using some Zemperfly guard hair chenille. Um, for the legs, I'll be using some mallard flank and olive. I'll be using a green booby eyes. Now I ran out of the chartreuse one so I just painted that one with a, a felt pen. That was a white one that I painted. So so and then this is um, this is a Zemperfly uh, um, classic waxed in the fluorescent green that I'm using. So I'm just gonna put a just a coating a, a layer down on the the hook, come back forward, open wraps, cut that off, I'm going to add my booby eyes. I like adding them first, some people add them second, like at the end, I like adding them at the beginning. So I'm just going to get them lined up, a couple of turns that way, a couple of turns this way, and then I will figure eight them. start pulling a bit tighter. Oh, I just broke my thread. See if I can get that in without too much passing. Happens sometimes. I was pulling it a little on the tight side there, so I was trying to get that, uh, I was trying to suck those booby eyes down nice and tight. But sometimes you, you do that. I've, I've gotten so used to using the nano silks. <laughs> nano silk, you practically can't break it. So it's going to get back in there and restart. Get that old tag end there. Get that in there, tie that down just so it doesn't unravel on me. Yeah, like I said, I'm so used to using the nano silks and the nano silk, I mean, I can almost bend this hook with it before it breaks, so um, pretty amazing stuff. So it's got to be a bit more careful here. So I'll just kind of figure eight. And like I said, I just uh, I'll tighten up a little bit on the both ways, but I don't want to cut the foam either, so. So, now I will just adjust this back up because I did pull it a bit. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to put a drop of crazy glue onto those eyes. Just so it doesn't, uh, doesn't move on us. I'll just put it on the top and on the bottom. That's that. Now I'm going to take the guard hair chenille and I'm just going to pull off some of that extra fluff. Just some of it, not a lot. Just for my start of my tie in point here. And then I'll try to keep it on the top nice and tight. All the way back to where roughly where the, the barb would be. And then I'm going to come back forward again right to behind the eyes. And wrap the guard hair chenille. Try to keep those little guard hairs out if possible. I'm only going to get three to four turns here at the most. Uh, maybe I'll get five. Yeah, that's it. I don't want to go too tight because I do want to. That's where I'm going to put my legs, is right in there. So tie that off. Cut off my hair chenille. You can give that a bit of a brush if you like just to get those fibers out a bit. There you go. Alrighty so now I'm gonna take a small little mallard flank feather 
Um, you don't have to do it this way. You can just lay them in there if you want. I like, I like doing the wrap myself um, on any of my dragons. It's not just this one. Um, I just like wrapping them all the way. So I'm just going to lay that in there. Just tie that in by the tip. Fold that back. Lock it down. I'll take my scissors. Find that little end there. Just get rid of that. And that's going to probably be too much, too many legs there. So I'm just going to peel off some of those. Could have peeled those off before, but I thought it was, didn't think it was that much. So just peel off some of those legs. So now I'm going to grab my hackle plier, stroke all these back, and I'm only going to get one to two turns on this. That's it. And that's all I want. There you go. One full turn. I'm kind of just wiggling in between there, making sure I lock that stem in. And lay all these legs back. I lock that in. Cut that stem out of the bottom. I'm going to give these a little bit of a brush so they... And you want this really buggy looking, right? So, you know, if, it, if there's a, a, a leg or two kind of going a little kooky, that's fine. So, and then, at the very end here, you could, there's a, a few things you could do. Um, you could put in some dubbing, you could put in some uh, um, um, CDC, uh, it all depends on, on what you like, but just to cover kind of the cover this uh, this mess up here, well the mess, the, the tie-in point. Um, there's a few different options. I had some dubbing here. I, oh, there it is. So a little bit of a peacock, green peacock dubbing. I'm just going to do a very light little dub right here. I'll just put in like that. And that's it. That's it. Just one little tiny little bit. Then I'm going to take my whip finisher and I'll whip finish right in front of the eye here. Take my Sally Hansen's. Put a bit on right on the uh, thread. And whip finish that again with the Sally Hansen's on the thread. Just building a, just a tiny head up front. One more. Nip that off. Almost done. Not quite. Almost done. So now, what I'll do, and again, this is the same thing that Deb does. <clears throat> Take a brown marker and just kind of randomly give it some, some marks on it. You can even do it on the eyes. And that is the finished fly. So, um, like I said, uh, check out Deb Pascal's uh, link uh, below. She does, like I said, it's fairly similar, um, except instead of using the booby eyes, she uses uh, she uses a uh, um, uh, monofilament eyes. I think it was either that or or the or the B chain eyes. I can't remember. I think it was mono eyes. So I just uh, did it this way to to give it a bit of a bit of a flotation, right? So, alrighty. So there is the finished pattern. When this gets wet, all these little legs will kind of sit back like that, and they'll, they'll create some movement along with that guard hair chenille. So, right, if you like that, give her a thumbs up. Uh, if, you sub sub if you've subscribed already, <laughs> that's a hard word to say sometimes. Um, thank you very much. If you haven't, please uh, consider doing so, and smash that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Thailand's everyone.